So let us solve few sums now. In figure, lines AB and CD intersect at O. So whenever they say lines, it means it's a straight line we have to consider. And if AOB plus angle BOE, so AOC plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degrees. So angle AOC plus angle BOE is e given as 70 degrees. And also given that angle BOD is equal to 40 degrees. Find angle BOE and reflex angle COE. Given AB and CD are lines. What do we know? When two lines meet at one point, then vertically opposite angles are equal. So I can write angle AOC is equal to angle AOC is equal to angle BOD. Why? Because vertically opposite angles are equal. Now, so if AOC is for BOD, what is the value of BOD? That is given as 40 degrees. So let me substitute the value in 1. So we will get 40 degrees plus angle BOE is equal to 70 degrees. So this gives us angle BOE is nothing but 70 degrees minus 40 degrees. Angle BOE is equal to 30 degrees. Now we have to find reflex angle COE. Reflex angle COE. Now what is angle COE? Angle COE is nothing but since AB is a line 180 degrees minus angle AOC plus angle BOE. So 180 degrees minus angle AOC plus angle BOE. What is angle AOC plus angle BOE? That is 70 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 70 degrees gives us 110 degrees. That is angle COE. But what do we need? We need reflex angle COE. So reflex angle COE is nothing but 360 degrees minus angle COE. What is COE angle? That is 110. So 360 degrees minus 110 is nothing but 250 degrees. That is the value of reflex angle COE. Now let us see the next question. In figure, lines XY and MN intersect at O. If angle POY is equal to 90 degrees and A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3, find C. Now, given that XY is a straight line, XY is a line. So what we can write, if this is 90 degrees, then angle A plus angle B also, therefore angle A plus B also will be 90 degrees because it is a linear pair, pair of linear, ang pair of angles here. Now, also given the ratio between A is to A and B, that is A is to B is equal to 2 is to 3. Let us take the common ratio as X. So A will be X from here. A will be 2x and B will be 3x. I will substitute in this. So 2x plus 3x is equal to 90 degrees. So 5x is equal to 90 degrees. x is equal to 90 by 5 gives us 18 degrees. Now A value is equal to 2x that is nothing but 2 into 18 degrees which gives us the value 36 degrees and the value of B is 3x which is equal to 3 into 18 degrees which gives us 54 degrees. Now in the question they are asking us to find the value of C. How to find value of C? If we observe here MN also is a straight line. MN is a line. So we can write B plus C will be equal to 180 degrees because these two are the lines. This OX is standing on line MN. So B is 54 degrees plus C is equal to 180 degrees. So C is equal to 180 degrees minus 54 degrees. So angle C is equal to 126 degrees. This is a value of C. So from figure we can write that angle SQP plus angle PQR is equal to 180 degrees. So from here we can write that angle PQR is equal to 
180 degrees minus angle SQP. This is equation number 2. Similar way we can also write that angle PRQ plus angle PRT. Angle PRQ plus angle PRT is equal to 180 degrees. From here we can write angle PRQ is nothing but 180 degrees minus angle PRT. This is equation number 3. Now, let us substitute the values of 2 and 3 in equation 1. Substitute equation 2 and 3 in 1. So, what do we get? From here we will get 180 degrees minus angle SQP is equal to 180 degrees minus angle PRT. So, both the sides 180, 180 cancel, minus, minus cancel. So, from here we can give the conclusion that angle PQS is equal to angle PRT. This is what they asked us to prove. Now, next question. In figure, if X plus Y is equal to W plus Z, then prove that AOB is a line. Now, let us add all the from figure. x plus y plus z plus w is equal to 360 degrees. y 360. Sum of the angles at a point is equal to 360 degrees. What is given here? x y is nothing but w plus z. So, I am writing that value 360 degrees. It is because given. Now, 2z plus 2w is equal to 360 degrees. It means 2 of z plus w is equal to 360 degrees. So, from here we will get the value of z plus w as 180 degrees. If z plus w is 180, then x plus y also will be equal to 180 degrees. Sum of two, two angles on a line is equal to 180 degrees, then that particular what non-common arms makes a line. So, therefore, AOB is a line. Now, let us see next question. In figure, POQ is a line. Ray OR is perpendicular to line PQ. OS is another ray lying between rays OP and OR. Prove that angle ROS is equal to half of angle QOS minus POS. Now, from here, from figure, we can write angle POS plus angle ROS is equal to 90 degrees because POQ is a line. And also given that ROP is a 90 degrees. Here RO, sorry, ROQ is given as 90 degrees. So, from here I will write the value of ROS as 90 degrees minus angle POS. Now, we can write angle QOS is nothing but, angle QOS is nothing but, angle ROS plus angle ROQ. But what is ROQ? That is 90 degrees because OR is perpendicular to PQ. So, we can write this as angle ROS plus 90 degrees. This is angle QOS. Now, this is 1, this is 2. From 1 and 2, I am just trying to write the value from second equation. I will just try to write the value of ROS. ROS is equal to, we can write angle QOS minus 90 degrees. Now, I will add both the equations, equation 1 plus equation 2, then ROS plus ROS, 2 into ROS is equal to 90 degrees minus angle POS plus angle QOS minus 90 degrees. 90 and 90 cancel. Now, here 2 ROS. Now, I will try to write what is ROS value. ROS is nothing but 2 goes the other side, then it becomes 1 by 2. And I will just rewrite this. Angle QOS minus angle POS. This is what they asked us to 
proof. Next question. It is given that angle XYZ is equal to 64 degrees and XY is produced to point P. Draw a figure from the given information. If ray YQ bisects angle ZYP, find angle XYQ and reflex angle QYP. So here we have figure angle XYZ is equal to 64 degrees and XY is produced to point P. There is a ray YQ which divides angle PYZ into two equal parts. So if I take this as X, this also will be X. Now we have to find the value of angle XYQ that is XYQ and also reflex angle XYP. So from figure X plus X plus 64 degrees is equal to 180 degrees because XY is line. So 2X is equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees. So 2X is equal to 180 degrees minus 64 degrees. That gives us 116 degrees. So X value from here 116 degrees by 2 that gives us x is equal to 58 degrees. Now this we got as 58 degrees and also this is 58 degrees. Now they are asking us to find angle xyq. Angle xyq is equal to angle xyz plus angle zyq which is equal to 64 degrees plus 58 degrees. So angle xyq is nothing but 64 plus 58, 122 degrees. Now we have to find angle, reflex angle QYP. So 360 degrees minus angle QYP we have to find. What is angle QYP? QYP is nothing but 58 degrees. So 360 degrees minus 58 degrees. So that is reflex angle QYP is nothing but 302 degrees. So in today's class we have learnt about lines, parallel lines and also we have learnt that when two lines intersect at one point vertically opposite angles are equal and we have learnt about pair of angles. We use the knowledge what we have learnt to solve the questions also. I hope you have enjoyed today's session with me. If you want more conceptual videos like this, do subscribe to Vidwat Learning app and share it.